Uh, this video is about uh, concreting and I'm going to show you how I concrete my depot. I've had a few people ask how I did the service shed and oil terminal and that was how I did that with tile grout rather than use card that I tend to dislike because it tends to eventually wing its way out from the board and start to curl and look a bit worn. This is pretty solid stuff, very lightweight and easy to use, um, but I'm going to show you how I do concreting. As you can see I've got a fairly large depot, it's 8 roads in total, uh, 3 locos deep, so there's about 22-24 locos all in all. Uh, I have lined the base with a MDF, I think it's 2 or 3 mil, I can't remember now, it's a long time ago since I did this. Uh, I didn't do the service shed and oil terminal with any kind of lining, it was just straightforward tile grout, but on this I wanted to get it so I could use it to put the inspection pits in. But what I'm going to do is I use bright and main matches, take the tips off and then you have to weed out all the bent ones and just use the straight ones, hence I've got two boxes, uh, some pieces of wood to make sure you've got a straight line cloth, uh, a pot to add the water, tile grout which is made part of flexible wall and tile grout, it is an ash grey colour, there is the code if you need it, it's from Screwfix, 6 quid, that will do a hell of a lot, uh, and some PVA, I'm going to PVA the bottom of the MDF just to give it a good coat, then I'm going to go around, add the framework with the matchsticks, and then we'll mix up some concrete and we'll fill in in between. Uh, I'm not going to record as I go along, but I'll just come back and record and show you as we progress. So we've gone around the outside of the frame with the matchsticks, all the way around the outside, over the far side, all the way down, across, and down. So that's our framework. Uh, I normally let that dry for a couple of hours to make sure I don't accidentally knock one off. Uh, then we'll mix up the concrete and start filling in. As I put the MDF sheet down, I will gonna, I'm going to put a PVA solution over the top just to give it some adhesion. Because um, although the inspection pits are in there quite strongly, there's some little bits of areas where, obviously because they're so close together, the actual framework is a little bit loose so I'm going to strengthen it but I'm going to put some PVA down to make sure that when we put the concrete down it doesn't all crack. The PVA glue has now been added to the base and I'm going to let that dry uh, for a couple of hours uh, before we start mixing concrete and fixing it over. First batch of the tile grout has been mixed and it's like a, a very thick a cake mix I call it, uh, runny enough to make it usable. Just laid the first piece of the concrete down over on the lifting shed that's been leveled out uh, and that will take mm, 24 hours to dry but we're going to carry on now and fill the next section over there and then we'll come back down and do this section. Second batch has gone down, I've leveled it out as well. So next bit I'm gonna do is over in that corner and down to here. And then hopefully we will then continue it down from there to there. It's worth doing little bits at a time. Obviously you'll see tiny little pinholes where air has got in, but once we go over it with filler and a fine sandpaper and it's weathered and washed, uh, no one's gonna be any the wiser, but it's a lot cleaner than polyfiller and I've just got to clean out inside that inspection pit as well. We've now got as far as that, we've done around that, cleaned all inside the inspection pits where the tile grout does go down because it's fairly creamy. You've got to pick it up and use a wet brush and wipe the rails off and just smooth it all down. So when it's dried, we can give it a good sand. So far so good. Still got quite a way to go yet. That's going to take another good couple of hours. 
getting there a bit more done it's taking longer than I thought but these gaps in between each inspection pit are not huge and I've got to put it in there and level it off and then wipe it off what falls in the inspection pit but we've got one two three about four lanes left hopefully finish that tonight um, looking rather good it's a lot of hard work um, most probably cards a lot easier but I don't think it gives the same effect you can get right up to the rails and I'm not a great cutter and this way you can just level it off sand it and you don't have to worry I think it'll be worth the effort and so we have one completed diesel depot concreted uh, as you can see on the far side it's already starting to dry it takes about 12 hours but ideally it's best to leave it for 24 hours 36 hours to really dry solid and then you can sand it down it will need sanding there are tiny little imperfections here and there bits of grout where I've just gone over the rails with a little truck to get the grout off the wheels so once it's all sanded down and weathered that'll look really smart uh, that took a long time to do that I started at one o'clock I think it's now half past nine obviously I've stopped and done, and done other things in between but I'd say most probably doing all that has taken about four and a half five hours um, but there you go that's um, flexible tile grout making them look like concrete and hopefully it will look really good when there's a depot on it. Thanks, speak to you soon. Bye for now.